A really easy way to get loads of vegetables into in one sitting is to make a pasta primavera. Now I'm going to do it with some gluten-free gnocchi as well, just to change it up from your normal spaghetti. So let's get cracking. I've got some onion here. I'm just going to put that on a nicely warmed pan, adding a bit of extra virgin olive oil. Now you do it in this way, you don't get the spray back there. So nice and generous because I tell you, I'm putting a lot of veggies in this one. So I've got some carrot. I've gone real small diced here, more so that it can all cook at the same time, but also it doesn't take as long. So in we go with that one. Some green capsicum. Now you can just clear your cupboards out or your fridge and just uh, make sure that you use everything that you've got in there so there is no food wastage. I'll add another red capsicum. Whatever really is seasonal is what you want. Now, when you eat seasonal, you make sure that you get the vegetable or fruit at its best. It literally will taste the best it will all year if you make sure that you uh, eat it seasonally. We'll add a bit of capsicum. All these bright, beautiful colors are only helping us get loads of antioxidants into our diet too. So we'll add some zucchini in there. Again, nice small dice with this one. I want to add some tomatoes too. The vegetables really will be the main source here. In we go there. Got some lovely mixed tomatoes here. All the colors of the rainbow. This is really a very colorful dish here. Again, chopping it up nice and small. Got some garlic here too. We want to make sure that we have some of that. I don't think we can have a pasta dish without garlic. I think there is uh, something quite illegal about that. So let's chop that one up. Now, if you don't like garlic, you don't have to have it. If you love garlic, you can go crazy and extra on that one too. In we go with those. And I have a little bit of broccolini as well. Any reason to get broccoli into your diet, I am mad for. So just chopping that one up so you'll barely be able to taste it. If it's the texture that, say it was a, uh, a kitty that was a little bit um, sensitive to the texture too, they're not gonna even know it's in there with this technique. So in we go with that one. Now, of course, there is quite a lot of vegetables on here and you can let them all sweat down, put the lid on, but another little trick is to add some liquid. Now, I have about two tablespoons of um, tomato paste here, really lovely and rich, rich in antioxidant lycopene as well. We love that. and a bit of water just on the base there, just to let things sweat. Now, of course, we need some seasoning here, don't we? So I've got some lovely basil. We'll just pick some of that. I mean, you can see here, this is a really casual dish. You don't have to go crazy with your technique, just really the more the better in there. A Little bit of rosemary, we'll pick some of that. There we go. And a bit of thyme, what a beautiful, beautiful herb there. Just strip it back. Some salt and pepper. My river salt flakes. And I've got a bit of monk fruit sweetener here. I'm just gonna add about one teaspoon and that's just gonna bring out the sweetness of the vegetables that are naturally in there. It's a wonderful thing to just do. So I'm gonna let this one sweat down, put the lid on, and then I'm gonna cook up that gnocchi and bring it all together. So that's now perfect. Let's get a good base of gnocchi. We'll turn it off the heat. How wonderful that is now a really delicious, gluten-free and vegan gnocchi. So I'll get my spider, get a nice portion. Get rid of that excess water. On we go. Oh, how divine. A good generous amount of vegetables on there. Lovely stuff. And keeping it vegan, I'm gonna add some nutritional yeast on the top instead of Parmesan. It's got a lovely cheese-esque flavor to it. It's fortified with B12 as well. I must have a bit of a try here. Watching out, because it is quite hot still. Look at that, so perfect, so quick to make. Gluten-free as well. 
are so, so delicious. I mean, it's lovely and filling. And the great thing is absolutely everybody can now enjoy this lovely Noki Primavera. Mm -hmm.